Dear 2020, Okay, I never thought in a million years that I would be the girl that wakes up in journals in her little gratitude notebook. Definitely didn't think I'd be the girl that's doing yoga and has a sound bowl in her house. Honestly, it was the hardest year of my entire life, and you're just gonna have to trust me when I tell you that that's saying a lot. If I thought I knew what hard times looked like before, now I can confidently tell myself you have no idea what the hell you're talking about, sit down. There was a lot of loss, fear, grief, loneliness, anger, but it had some silver linings. It really told me what I need to take care of myself in order to stay kind of positive when it's the end of the world. I learned of all the reasons why I should still keep up with my skincare routine, even if the last time I saw a person was two months ago. It showed me that building and sticking to healthy skincare habits really will thank me in the long run. I've had more than enough time to re-examine my routines and add some new gems, as well as revisit some old favorites. Shoppers has been a very big helping hand in this since I've had enough time to browse the aisles way too many times to count. Whether I was picking out Lux masks for self-care days or just grabbing the drugstore essentials when I needed them, they really played a massive part in this year and in helping me achieve my ever-changing skin resolutions. I've added in some new habits that I will definitely be carrying into 2021 like getting into the flow of moisturizing my entire body, not just my face. This body lotion really did come in clutch on those days. And to train myself to always wear SPF, even if I'm just staring out of the window for eight hours straight. I've had the time to double and even triple cleanse these days, try every mask imaginable and browse the aisles a little bit too long. I think I've had enough time to make enough skincare changes to last at least 10 years, but hopefully I'll never have that much time to think about it ever again. You've taught me that most meetings could be emails, that a trip to the grocery store can be an event worth celebrating, that you can use cat food to work out, that apocalypse movies are not a great watch during the apocalypse, and meditation can save lives. When it all goes up in flames, all you really have left is yourself and your mind to take care of. If there's one thing that I took away from this year is that I simply didn't know how to do that before I was launched headfirst into the craziest year that sounded like it had a plot of a James Cameron movie or like it was a better remake of 2012. But dear 2020, thanks for the lessons. Some of them I definitely didn't ask for. Most of them I didn't like. And honestly, I can't wait till you're forever wiped out of my life so I can work in coffee shops, talk to strangers, go dancing in crowded bars, go to music festivals, eat lunch inside cafes, see facial expressions, have all my friends over at my house all at once, and stand really, really, really close to someone in line. Thanks for teaching me 25 gallons of wine won't solve my problems, how to deal with a Groundhog Day experience for a whole year, and how to match face masks to my shoes. Thank you for the newly found, overwhelming feeling of gratitude, showing me that everybody in the community is an irreplaceable link, that essential workers deserve Nobel Peace Prizes, and that I really, really, really don't need to place another order. Seriously. Thanks for teaching me how to look presentable for Zoom calls, do school online, be peaceful in solitude, the value of true friends, resilience, and the importance of short walks around the block. You've taught me how to save my own self, that my priorities could have been better, that I need to be best friends with my six-year-old self my entire life, and that it could all be much, much worse. Thanks for showing me how people save themselves with art, that my horoscope is scary accurate, but only when I want it to be, that four really is a party, how easy it is to lose your shit if you're not careful, and how asking for help really is okay. Dear 2020, I hope to never see you again in my life.